Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 228 and one quarter pounds, he is undefeated in his professional career with 19 wins, no losses, and 14 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tony TNT. Count. And in the red corner, from Magnolia, North Carolina, weighing 236 pounds. His professional record consists of 14 wins, two defeats, with 12 KOs. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, James Bone Crusher Smith. 10 rounds of boxing. So there's a familiar face then, James Bone Crusher Smith, the man who defeated Frank Bruno in the last round at Wembley and then went on to give Larry Holmes a good fight. So the hooded Tony Tubbs, nicknamed TNT, 16 stone four, and incredibly agile. And there's the tail of the tape then. Just look at the weight of those fellas. Unbelievable. So an important fight for these big fellows because the winner has been guaranteed a fight with Greg Page in Buffalo on April 29 for the WBA version of the Heavyweight Championship. Tony Tubbs carries the nickname TNT, unbeaten, and at 16 stone four, he's usually around the 17 stone mark, looking a lot more agile. And the big man, Bone Crusher Smith, in the red trunks, the man who was behind on points and finished up knocking out Frank Bruno at Wembley, and then giving Larry Holmes a really tough fight for 12 rounds. But I saw Tony Tubbs as an amateur box, Greg Page. He won a World Cup as an amateur, and I've been waiting for him to really show as a pro. He was a tremendous boxer, absolutely agile for his weight. There it is. There. You can't miss the old bone crusher. It's just how hard he hits him. I never did like that nickname for him, Bone Crusher. He was the most mild-mannered man you ever met outside the ring. And uh, got a business degree. And his wife's a teacher, too. Just look at the 16 stone four. As he said, I've got to get a little bit of weight off, but he's so mobile, it's incredible, Tony Tubbs. But Smith, as Frank Bruno knows, and indeed Holmes knew because he stopped him with a cut, does take a lot of shifting. At 16-12. Sometimes Tubbs loafs around a bit, but I think this fight's too important for him to do that. They're almost in there with them. Fine size referee Davy Pearl from Nevada, and we've got a lot of world championships. He did 15 stitches, Smith, when he fought uh, Holmes. He said they healed very well, he was quite pleased. As a matter of fact, there's only a few hours ago, really, that uh, he and I had a private chat in a steam bath, of all things. He said, I don't want to get weighed off, it just tunes me up. And I tell you, sitting next to him, I felt like the fellow was having the sand kicked in his face. there in Bone Crusher's corner, the great Emil Griffiths, former welterweight and middleweight champion in the world. Of course, won a lot of fights in England. Brian Curvis and Dave Charlie. Trying too hard, Emil says. He's probably getting a bit tight when he, he does that. Round two. Uh, I really take an oath. These heavyweights are growing by the minute, aren't they? Every time we see one in America, they're 
if they're just pushing around the 17 stone mark, if they're any, any lighter, you think they're lightweights. You've got to consider that people like Marciano and Henry Cooper were under 14 stone. boxing ability bone crusher he's a very fit powerful man and his boxing in the army and he's yet to get a sort of doctorate in the big boxing he got that with Holmes and admitted it and we'll see if Tony Tufts can take a punch for really being under pressure as a pro 230 times as an amateur. Comes from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oof. It's amazing how Bone Crusher Smith turned around by winning against Bruno. He, he, he almost became a different fighter overnight. Few people gave him any chance with Holmes, but he was in there pitching the punches right until he was badly cut at the end. Tops, though. You don't have to move around. You've got quick hands. That's all you need as a heavyweight. <laughs> Take quite a bit to club the old bone crusher down, though, I tell you that. But he's getting through very accurately, Tubbs. Crusher's no getting out of the way of that right hand punch at all. In fact, he's half leaning into it. Not much infighting going on, though. Well, this one's definitely the war of attrition stuff. Out. You want to duck in case one of those punches misses and hits you. Ooh, they really are piling them in in the second round. No point in having a scouting mission. These fellas are really getting in there. Wrong corner bone crush is going to, but that's not because he was hurt. He just turned that way. Put the ice in the cheek Early, it would seem for the ice pack in the rather chilly Las Vegas. In the evening like this, now when the sun goes down, everybody needs coats on. But it's good for boxers. They like it as uh, fresh as that. They can get warmed up and not stifled at all by smoky arenas. to see the punches coming in and neither box had cut. It's been fairly clean because there hasn't been too much bumping and boring of heads. There is there and they're both taking care of themselves too. Well, Tony Tubbs has certainly been promising a lot but now he's got to produce it. He's, getting, he's already in the top 10 ratings and of course Bone Crusher is... just want to get on with the fight and uh, I rather feel it's an inhibiting presence of the referee. Until one drops, they want to keep punching away. You won't get too many old-fashioned English straight lefts in this kind of fighting.
bone crush is not particularly good at the inside game. I mean, he's still really inexperienced with only 16 pro fights. But at 29, well, he hasn't got too much time left. He's got to try and make some money. first pro fight to another big man James Broad bone crusher Smith but he came back well after that spectacular shots coming in from Tubbs and the crowd know it and I think bone crusher does too He's got to try and get in and tire the opposition. There. That's strong stuff. A little showy tub, but he can do it. Oh, there he goes again. Sheer speed of that for such a big man. Coming bone crush up from all angles. Talk about trimming the meat from the bone. He's doing that. play then and this is where Tubbs is getting through that was the one that uh, looked like getting bone crush in a bit of trouble but he absorbed the punch well well you can absorb all the punches as you can see they need the ice pack there sixth round As I said, the winner is due to go in with Greg Page in a challenge for the WBA Championship, a voluntary defense by Page, who's here. Oh, look at his strength now from Bone Crusher. Is he going to produce something with Tubbs as he did with Bruno? The all-out desperation stuff, but a bit earlier in the fight than he did with Frank Bruno. build up of punches just banging around the arms and the elbows and the biceps makes a man sore he doesn't have to look spectacular bone crusher he just drags the heart out of an opponent No use Tubbs trying to ignore him. That's a mistake. Trying to use the ropes as a bit of a catapult, I suspect, Tubbs, but he, sh he shouldn't risk his chin with this fella. You can hear them thudding in at ringside. Oh, and the one that got away and Bone Crusher counted well. Good, strong punch, and he's laying in now, Smith. He came in the underdog, I think, because uh, an unbeaten record. People were wondering just how good Tubbs is. the old demoralizing tactics that Smith's trying, but Tubb still has a fair amount of skill. Ooh, this is really rough stuff inside. I could fight in a telephone booth, these fellas. I don't need a big ring.
count down for a really hard, the old-fashioned close quarter sixth round. Ninth round. And of course, American judges assess points quite differently than we do in Britain. Sharper punching been coming in at times from Tubbs, but he's got a bit lazy. Uh, and he's a bit eye-catching in show. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if the judges don't have him just ahead. But uh, Bone Crush has always got on with the job. Always been doing something, but he had one or two lax rounds, uh, which make, would make me tend to think that Tubbs is probably in front. Good to see a hard battle like this without either fighter being cut. That's the thing, you see, the, the judges may just say, well, Bone Crush has always had a reasonable work rate and the Tubbs has taken his time between punches too much. Really, Greg Page threw a fight away with David Bay in similar style, and I thought, Page is better boxing, just won it, but the judges favoured Bay for sheer aggression. So you could relate that fight to this one as well, really. Look at this, you see, there's the old bone crushers getting on with the job. Not hard punches, but enough to score with, hard enough for you and I to take, but not for trained heavyweights. almost punched themselves to a standstill. They've never actually flitted around the ring, floating like butterflies at all. But, uh, as would be expected by the ninth round, they're quite happy to stand and trade. That's when he really looks apart, Tubbs. But Smith has been just plodding away there. And then, of course, the crowd like to see the flash stuff from Tubbs, but it's not, doesn't always win fights. What a fit man Smith, Smith must be. He takes those, takes those wax to the body. So count down them for the ninth with one to go. So coming out early for work in the last round. And I would have thought that really, if the judges have been fence-sitting in any way, the last round could decide this one. Could well be wrong that they may have one guy well in front. The way the Americans judge fights is uh, often different the way we do. But it has really seesawed the whole time. question of lack of punching power in either man it's just that the sheer size and durability of them has prevented them from going down they both absorb punches so well i thought maybe they'd have a, a really hectic final fling because it means so much to the winner this fight they're saying well that may be so but uh, the judges are a bit smarter than that they know if a man's showboating or not
are screaming in their corner. What about the championship bout? Sounds like Tubbs's corner to me. And Tubbs trying to turn it on a bit more in the last. Two. It looks the part now in the, the last half minute. No way he's going to stop Bone Crusher, and I'll certainly stop my chin out saying that, but this fella's very durable. And I think uh, Tubbs gave that up a long time ago, the thought of that. So in any case, it is too late for a knockout, because the bell would interrupt. And what a hard slug it's been. Not spectacular, but old-fashioned Donnybrook, as they say in America. So the Tubbs camp have made up their mind that their man's won. And here's the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges. Judge Herb Santo scores 97-93. There's a big Judge one. Judge Dave Moretti scores 97-93. And Judge Jerry Ross scores the same score, 97-93, for the winner by unanimous decision, Tony T. Well, he deserved to win it. I just thought they may have exaggerated the scoring a bit. But as I've said, a really good-looking fighter, that fellow, who could probably look better against a slightly lighter opponent. Oh, has to be beaten by Barrera first, though. Jimenez holds the WBO Super...